right now, a lot of barbershops and salons, when you go in there, they're empty. And this is, I'm, I'm having a meeting this Sunday with my, all my employees to let them know we have to figure out a new way to be innovative because to me, everything starts in the barbershop and salons because we see what's gonna happen. You know, economists say, if you don't know what's going with the economy, go to the pawn shop. The pawn shop lets you know how the economy's going. Well, go to a barbershop or a salon, you'll know also. So for us, we're really watching about, you know, it's good when the Strip does well, and that is the main driver of our economy here in the state and in Southern Nevada. I mean, one in four workers work in leisure and hospitality. At the same time, can we also do nudge the economy in other ways to build more resilience so that we're not, you know, the first state to get hit when there's a downturn and the last state to recover, which we've seen in the last two downturns, which I get were very different situations, but to assume that those different situations won't happen in the future, I think is a bit crazy. By way of example, uh, 20 plus years ago, we're all very excited here in Southern Nevada uh, because we were diversifying into call centers. So we were replacing some low wage jobs in the, uh, uh, supplementing low wage jobs in the resort industry with low wage jobs in call centers. That's a way to diversify the job base but doesn't produce the quality of jobs we want, right? I do graphic design. It takes me five hours to design a flyer. Now with AI, I could do it in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. I can just type in what I want, and it does it, and it gives me a hundred different examples to choose from. But if I went to school for graphic design, what happens to me? So think about the repercussions of everybody who's in college right now, who are getting all these loans for college, and when they get the degree, it will be worthless. Nobody's talking about that. Mm -hmm.